hello and uh, welcome again. Thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome to the Paul C. Smith Photography Channel. Something a bit more formal this time, I think. Um, today, I'm in the Waikiki Forest and uh, something a bit different for me um, today. I'm going to carry on with my um, my film, my colour film experience today. Um, it's been a it's been a journey of trials and tribulations so far, and um, I'm de determined for it not to beat me. So um, I'm again back in the world of C41, developing and shooting colour film. Um, and to date, we've had mixed results. If you've uh, been following the channel, you'll know all about the ups and downs that I've been having. But anyway. Today I'm going, to I'm going to continue with the uh, the whole colour film, we're shooting film today and um, something different again. Um, last week I purchased my very first medium format um, film camera um, and here it is. Um, it's the the Mamiya, Mamiya, Mamiya 645E um, and I bought this last week and I've already shot um, eight frames on this. Um, so I've got another seven frames left on this roll of film. So I'm, I'm just trialling it out today. I'm just, just playing around with it, getting a feel for the camera, uh, you know, working out how it works. We better move on anyway while the light's good and uh, the day is fine. So let's, get, let's, let's move on and uh, let's test out the camera. Well, just got to my spot, and um, I was actually down here on, on uh, Sunday. Today is Friday, and, and uh, last Sunday I was down here, and um, I made a little video, and if you haven't seen it, uh, check out this link. Uh, it's called Beach in Monochrome, and uh, such a stunning night that it made me come back a second time because I um, wanted to hit it with some colour photography. Um, so where we are at the moment is we're right at the... The, um, the end of the Waikato River, essentially. This is where the Waikato River um, meets the ocean. And if you uh, go to your map and have a look at that, and uh, if you find the Waikato River um, and look at the end point of the Waikato River, this is where I am. And it's, um, it's a super place. Some of the best kahawai fishing in New Zealand. It's maybe some of the best fishing in the world. It's just incredible here on a good day, but that's fishing. One day I'll take you guys along fishing with me. If you want to come fishing, let me know. And I'll, um, I haven't been fishing for a while. I've been too busy uh, doing photography, but I've been doing this idea about a fishing and a photography video, but that's, that might be for another day. Anyway, this is, um, this is a spot. We're, just, we're, on the, we're on the tip of the dunes here, and basically it's almost a vertical drop down here. Yeah. Well, not vertical, but it's pretty steep. And um, sensational views over here. And uh, I've got a view over here that I want to capture with my medium format camera, um, just looking out to the uh, to the ocean, to the Tasman Sea over there. We've got some trees on the hill here, and we've got the sand dunes. So this will be my first shot of the um, first shot of the day. So I'll get set up, and uh, we'll take the shot. First shot done, let's get it, let's carry on. How's the fishing going? How's the fishing? Good? Not yet, just alright. Oh, okay. 
take your picture. Yeah? Okay. Come on, babe. So I just asked the, the gentleman here if I could take his photograph and he said yes. So I'm just going to set up my camera and uh, the sun's starting to drop now so we're getting some kind of silhouette kind of uh, um, conditions. Oh he's got a fish. He's got a bite. He's got a bite and I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that because he's got a fish and I'm going to get that shot. Come on, pull that fish in. Yes, go in again. Come on again. Here he goes. I'm just going to move. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. This, this beach is so cool because it's got so many of these dead trees lying all through the, um, the sand here. Um, we're right down the end of the beach and the only the only vehicle access um, is 10 kilometers back that way so when I say vehicle access road access so if you want to get to this part of the beach you've got to do what I've done is come through the forest here and walk for about 45 minutes to get here or you drive a four-wheel drive vehicle from from the access point at Kiritahi Beach there um, and this is a very popular fishing place it's um, super fishing here um, so these tire tracks are all up and down the beach people driving down here to fish and uh, just i just think they're quite spectacular i've got the sun what i'm going to do with this shot um, i'm actually going to um, put the third i'm going to put the third in the top of the frame so the horizon lines in the top and i'm actually going to focus put my focus on these tied these tie marks so that's what i'm going to focus on um, um, so the focus is on that and just disappearing into into the distance there it's quite spectacular um, um, so here we go I'm going to click off there we go fingers crossed it'll be a nice picture if it comes out I think it'll be a nice picture I really enjoyed that. I actually really enjoyed the. Um, yeah, it's just nice and relaxing. It's just a different way of shooting. I think uh, limiting my frames, um, shooting with a bigger camera, it's more clumsy. You've got to think a bit more about your um, your pictures. Um, I enjoyed it. It was good. It was nice and relaxing. So um, I'm going to head back home now, and I'm going to have an attempt at developing this role. Now I've had some mixed results with C41. Um, I think I'm on top of it. I think I've got it, uh, got it nailed. So I'm gonna head back and uh, develop. So uh, let's go, let's see what we come up with. Out here 
she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be well, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I have to say the whole developing process went really well this time and uh, stoked with the results. Um, pictures, not so good. The uh, images took down the beach were sort of below average, I think. Um, but never mind, I think the main, the main thing was that I got out, used the camera, tested it. Really happy with the results I got from the camera itself. Um, you might remember I mentioned that I'd already taken uh, I think seven or eight frames uh, a day or two ago. Um, and those pictures turned out really nice. I was really quite happy with the composition of some of those pictures and uh, the content, they were, they were quite nice. The uh, pictures I took at the beach, not so happy. Um, like I said, below average. But that's all good. I'm happy with um, the overall uh, first roll out of this camera. It performed pretty well, uh, easy to use, and uh, yeah, just enjoyed the whole the whole uh, relaxed vibe that I got from from using it. In a minute I'll show you the uh, pictures, but before I do that, just a couple of quick things just to um, keep you up to date with things. Um, I've just started a Facebook page for this channel, um, specifically for my vlog channel. Um, the reason being, I want to keep my uh, vlog content separate from my normal uh, everyday photographic content, so I've set up a Facebook page for that. If you want to go and check out that page, it'll keep you up to date on a regular basis with what's going on. Um, there'll be the videos will be posted there. There'll be just some update stuff, maybe some information on upcoming episodes. So go and check out that page. Uh, link below in the show notes for that. Um, Instagram also, if you can follow my Instagram page, I'd really appreciate it. There's a link uh, below for my Instagram page. Um, I might put a couple of pictures up from uh, this roll of film onto my website, uh, maybe one or two from the original uh, set of shots I took down at the river. Um, check out the link below for that. Um, if you can like and share this video, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out, helps the channel out. And uh, on that note, if you can also subscribe, that's um, probably the best thing that you can do. That gives me a kick of the channel and uh, you know just gives me a push with my content and helps the channel out. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, well, that's about it. Here are the pictures. Um, take a look and I hope you uh, enjoy what you see. Um, until next time, please take care, please come back again, and hi da from New Zealand. Goodbye. Like you always do